you guys down at Magnet Fishing Australia. Found yourselves plenty of our motorbikes and push bikes. But I tell you what, I've just upgraded. Let's pull in and have a look. Yeah! I got myself a car! G'day everyone, gonna do some magnet fishing. Let's see how we go. We're in a different spot today, haven't been here before. Uh, well, I've really been many places, but um, yeah, let's see how we go. Come back, All right, Lucas, big truck out again. Nice. So we found something pretty big in there. It's only about three feet down, but I just can't get the magnet. It comes up halfway and let's go. This is exciting. Oh, it's a star picket. <laughs> bring up there, bring up. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that. We found our first star picket. Oh, I thought it was going to be a push bike. There's a skate park over there. <laughs> Alright, let's see that over there. I do. Oh. Really How cool is that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> awesome, woman. not it? Uh, we're going to play around in another five minutes. Uh, I'm playing Probably ten minutes. <laughs> but yeah, drop it. Oh, there we go. Is that a good shot? Yeah, can I can have that. You, you, I'll yep. it for you. Alright, so you want to do the bobbin? That's the bobbin. Yep, that's it. So just walk along and do that. Let's see if you can feel it. Grab anything? Just walk along and drag the rope along this way. Something heavy. Heavy? Did it stick? Yep. Let's have a look. Did too, buddy. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 All right, we'll just disconnect it. Dad, it's, it's been at home, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Fist bump. Yeah. Fist bump. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do yeah. the same place to get anything else. Sounds good. Let's do it. Can you give it to me? Yep. <laughs> Something's happening down there. Again? Yeah. No way. How far feel? Uh, I think I might be stuck in the mud that time. I'll try again, Dad. All right. Someone's heaven. Bring it in. See how you go. All right. Whoa! Look what we got. <laughs> we got our magnet back. But how cool is that? We've had a star picket. So we'll put one in the bin or near the trees there, maybe. The guy can do something about it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds cool. And we got a fishing pole holder. Fishing rod holder or fishing pole. But yeah, that's awesome. So I was thinking I might need a bigger magnet. I've got this uh, 100 kilo pull strength one. Um, going around out here, there's a lot of mud in this lake and it buries in. I feel it grabbing onto things, but it's not pulling it out. At the same time, like you know, put a star picket with a bit of bit of grievance. But you know, when you imagine it's probably like you know, in maybe anywhere between 10 and 15 centimeters of mud, which isn't too bad, I guess. And uh, this fishing rod holder that I found, I accidentally connected the magnet to the pole before by accident when I was walking along. I thought, wow, it's actually pretty strong. It takes a bit to uh, get it off, particularly if it gets like a, a good part of the pot, like that. Uh, so I don't know, maybe it is strong enough, we'll see how we go. And we tried a little bit further up around the lake, 
And we're just, um, yeah, just stuck in the mud, a lot of sticks, lily pads. Thought it'd be cool for lures and things, but it's not much around there. So we'll try over, back where we were to start with, where we found the fishing pole stick, so. So there we go, either way it's good fun, the kids having a good time, we're having a break. <laughs> that thing is insane. <laughs> So we moved around a few different spots. Uh, we got this uh, fishing pole. We got the star dropper. Um, we got a couple of tins and a lot of sticks and a lot of mud. Um, yeah, that was all right. But anyway, we've been here for about half an hour. The kids are getting a bit bored. So as always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you got any ideas about this, because I'm pretty new to this, uh, let me know. It's good fun anyway. It's not until you're cruising around around southeast Queensland and you realise how much water there is to throw a magnet in. Well actually I kind of did know that because I go fishing in a lot of it. But anyway, a lot of stuff I would consider fishing in like under bridges. Yeah. So we'll throw it in there in a minute. Oh there's a car down there. That's someone's car. Let's go have a look. So uh, kids, that's why I don't play with matches. Can the police found it? Yeah. What is this, an old footpath? Oh, Eddie, this looks good. So we've had a bit of a throw around here so far. There's a bit of debris in the water, a lot of big things, which I'm guessing is part of like maybe an old bridge or something that's been washed down here from the floods. Uh, the kids are really restless, which was shattered because I want to keep flinging this around and see what we can find, but we're definitely going to come back here next time. I can't help myself. It's so noisy here. But let's have a look in the boot. Hopefully there's nothing bad. But let's have a look. Ready, dude? Tire. Doesn't look too good. Oh, look at the jack. It's almost in new used condition. Chuck that on eBay. No, not really. Watch your fingies. Woo. All right, guys, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Follow our adventures with magnet fishing and fishing and all the adventure in between. My ears are ringing from that. <laughs> but anyway, see you next time.